New prices going up, used prices coming down. Stay tuned, Casino Guitars giving the facts and the reasons why. We're just making stuff up. Hey, it's me, Baxter. <laughs> and me, Jonathan. I have been assimilated. You might think by the board, but not really. Dang it. I'm going to take this thing off real quickly. We, or I guess I, the other day, last week or something, was talking about I, my eyes aren't as good as they used to be, so I need monocles. So I've had a plethora of monocles arriving, and I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. It's, I can't tell you, this means more to me than like when my family gives me presents for like my birthday. Oh, this is better, yeah. This is way better. Cause like it's, it's totally better. Because my family doesn't really give me presents for my birthday. Cause no, they don't. No. I mean, this, and I'm a board junkie slash steampunk cyberpunk thing. This this blew me away. I'm going to wear this out to restaurants. I remember saying how cool it would be if you had a monocle. Is that That's what it was? Is, that, is this how it's all started? You said you could see, and I said, man, if you had a monocle, how cool would that be? Okay, we're done. I mean, we'll, this one just sort of makes me like. Yeah, you kind of go, that strange. Strange. there's more we can't. But. It's, it really, thank you so much for whoever's. Uh, I, I don't know if these. I hope that my beard is not obscuring the. There's a whole yeah, set here that he's wearing. I mean, I'm wearing bow tie, it's, my little hat. It's beyond what I can say. It's like, thank you, thank you. Now, back to guitar prices. The more important reason you joined us besides just looking at our monocles. <laughs> I'm going to wear my monocle in my. Um, I'm going to wear this later today. I'm going to put this over here. It's rude to wear my hat indoors. So. so, we've noticed that new prices have continued to go up and up and up and up, and it hasn't stopped. Record profits, we did a video on this, I think, a week and a half ago or so, I don't know. Um, and prices kept going. Kept going. Kept going. But finally, the equalization effect has started to happen where, that's a cool term I just made up, I think. Um, <laughs> that sounds like a real financial. Just coining things, left and right. <clears throat> I feel like that's all financiers do. They make up stuff. And it's like, <sighs> it's true. a bear market. It's a bull market. And like, it's going up, it's going down. It's like, it's just made up things to make it, to be understand it. We are not sponsored by Boobly or Bublé or Bublé. I, I just, you know, I'm like ca- came from the gas station. I <laughs> think we drink from the gas station. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. All day, every day. Sorry, like sorry, 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 I'm sorry. Used prices have started to finally come down. In yeah, that's true. Akin to the car markets. So we've finally seen a little bit of, again, equalization in that market where like new prices have continued to rise, but then our used prices are starting to slow down. So we have this like sort of median line that might make sense one day again. Maybe so. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should see house prices we're still sort of praying i i keep praying for house prices to drop i know it's weird as an actual homeowner but i, I would like house prices to drop <laughs> <laughs> no it drives me insane that's so expensive and so and there's yeah. rumors that a lot of the major guitar manufacturers are going to have another price increase Coming soon. We can neither confirm nor de- deny this message, and um, this message will self-destruct in five seconds as well. Well, I mean, I, I just saw today on Instagram that car amplifiers are having a price increase. Um, I have two now. Well, he was just saying, you know, like they tried, they've tried, they held as long as they could, that, you know, if you want them, you got another few weeks before August 1st to get them, but even the ones in the showroom will be increasing August 1st. Um, so yeah, that makes it's, it's I mean, everywhere, and I yeah. get it. like prices have had to go up a little bit across the board. It's just we had some of our our manufacturers we worked with, you know, for years and stuff. Like I, th- I feel like there's been a lot of price increases, yeah. and we you know we're looking at a lot of the sort of higher end pieces that have gotten so high. And I, I, we're, so I was digging into economics a bit, trying to understand why, you know, within within the worlds of you know of our guys that we love from Gibson to Fender to PRS to Martin to Taylor, and right. as much with Martin, they've sort of been fighting that as much as possible in the buck and been pretty steady besides the whole stepping in their own poop of selling direct. Whoops. They well, made that mistake, yeah. but they're not doing well, so that's good. We're wishing them <laughs> failure in that regard. So Way to go. I am. I mean, honestly, yeah, I hope they do poorly at it. Whoever is in charge of that division, yeah. I hope they aren't good at their job because I've met some of the other ones that they're not good at their job at other manufacturers, so it's like, I'm hoping that's the same. It's new territory. Just you keep building them. great guitars. So, build the guitars. <laughs> but anyway. We'll sell them. No, but we, were, we were trying to study, like, how does this work? So, there, there's it's, it, it's called um, God, premiumfication. Premiumfication. I'm trying to say that word. It's a hard word to say. Premiumfication. <laughs> where <laughs> it sounds like attempt. permeification. Well, uh, permutations. Uh, premiumfication um, is the idea that some of like from high end car watch, you know, guitar, boating, like things that are more luxury items. Any new item, they're figuring. You know, hey, you're already coming into this for this new item. We can charge X amount on top of that now to create the margin spread for the same product 
and you're gonna you're still gonna buy it because you want it. You're already spending three thousand dollars. What's an extra five hundred dollars? Well, I mean, there are so many things like that that are they used to not be like I think about pickup trucks. You know, I grew up. Everybody had a pickup truck, right? Like, how much does an F one fifty cost? Now? <laughs> it's like seventy thousand dollars. I I mean, I found yeah. that out like a couple years ago when I found that out. I was floored. I was like a pickup truck, thirty five thousand, right? That, that's kind of what I figured. That still, to me, sounds expensive for a pickup but, truck. But I mean, like, you know. But that, that's, like, I'm thinking a luxury pickup truck. Yes. 35, not like a Raptor or a, a Tundra or whatever the things are. I mean, I love my the Chevy Silverado. My, it's nothing special. It's nothing fancy at all. It's a 2008. <laughs> but, you know, I, it's great. But there's no way. It's right there in my vintage. There is no way in the world, if it died tomorrow, that I could go buy a new it, it, like Dodge, Chevy, Ford, doesn't matter. I, I could not. I'd be looking for an upgraded 09 model. Um, and that might be a stretch. I don't know. Well, we were, we're finally starting to see, too, within the used market, what's happening is a lot of the cats that did jump into the game, they went full tilt, full in. They got yes. awesome guitars, true. which is great. I recommend going all in, too, sometimes when you're going in. And they've chosen that guitar is not their thing. And sometimes that's the right choice. Sometimes it is. I do feel like I'm having that conversation. I, I, I thought about this the other day. You and I haven't even talked about it. I'm having that conversation with folks again. Hey, I know you spent X amount on this guitar and it was new six months ago, but that's not what it's worth now. It's worth, you know, less than that. Quite a bit less. You have to do, um, chop chop a quarter off immediately. Because, you know, I feel like most of us who have been doing this for a while, we sort of know that or we know what has a chance of staying the same or maybe even in crazy circumstances going up but it's like there's a whole new influx of, of guitar players customers well, yeah let's say you went to ball like, you went it. to one of my favorite shops you bought like a gibson wildwood select les paul right and you paid 30 or let's say you paid three thousand dollars for it back in the day you're not the prices did just go up on those so i think they're now 3200 or something so um so that builds you like a 200 hundred dollar window there but let's say that wasn't there you're going to take a haircut on that when you try to resell that in the market. Yeah. There's other ones out there. Wildwoods are different because there's a limited supply. But if it was a non-wildwood. But, I mean, that still doesn't equal, hey, let me go unload this for what I paid for. No, no, no. Like, I mean, like, <laughs> you know I mean? for a $1,000 haircut right off the bat. And I feel like, and I'm not, not wildwood at all. I mean, I know we're talking about wildwood, but that's not what I mean. It, it almost makes me wonder, some of these guys who call us, it almost seems like someone has told them, oh, if you buy this, it's a good investment. <laughs> That, you know, that, that is a disingenuous guitar salespeople yeah. if that has happened. Because some things are good investment. I will say, like, a lot of these guitar things, like, two rocks tend to hold their value. They do. If you're selling from customer to customer, if you're, again, if you're selling to a shop to alleviate the hassle and the, the inconvenience that you don't want to deal with, different thing. You, are, you are definitely taking a haircut. That's just part of the deal. The shop has to make a profit on your piece, regardless if it's the shop sold it to you or not. Well, but none of that stuff is a six month investment. <laughs> it's not, you, you know what I mean? And it's not a, and it's not a sure thing as a ten year investment or whatever. I mean, like you, you shouldn't be buying this stuff as your retirement. <laughs> no, maybe, no. maybe vintage stuff. Probably not that yeah, either. It's but it's um, for fun. The vintage yeah, stuff breaks. Yeah, it's true. And he goes, he goes haywire sometimes. No, it's yeah. If you don't love it, don't buy it. If you don't, if you don't get joy out of it, no. It, We've had a lot of fun in this because we get to we get to help educate folks in the process too. And like oftentimes we steer them like they come in our shop like, hey, we want to sell these guitars. You we tell them what we can give them. Like ah, it's less than I think. I'm like, here's what I would do if it was you. If I were you, I would first try to sell my local marketplace yep. so I can cut out the fees of, yep. you know, like the eBay's and the reverbs. If that all, if you have a higher end piece that's not going to work in your local marketplace, get it on those groups right there. Like get it on Reverb and eBay immediately. Take some yep. nice pictures. You're going to lose ten percent off the top prepare for that yep. so factor what you want to get for the guitar minus that maybe minus shipping also minus the hassle of meeting 30 weird strangers and getting lots of emails one of my favorite tiktok guys is he reads real facebook like um responses when people are trying to like sell caches it's hilarious just the insane people you deal with we deal with it every day because we're also mentally unfit there's some great ones on facebook about guitars and things as well if you find them in, the, in the, some of the little groups <laughs> just just the things people say are kind of fantastic. It's but. just naughty and weird and fabulous. And it's what makes it fun. No, but it does make it fun. Like that's what, when you want to get rid of the piece and you just want to be done with it, take it to a shop. They will take yes. care of you. Take it to a good shop. They'll give you the right price. They can either do it, buy it directly. They can you can sell it consignment with them. Set it up. Sometimes that's the move. Usually the shop doesn't. You know, the shop can offer the shop better. Offer you less to buy it because they need to 
turn around and like photograph it, write the description up, yep. show it, and take the risk of selling it too, and and now own it. Right. Versus consignment, they can still they'll photograph it, write the description, take the risk of selling it, but then they don't have the capital tied up with it. That's right. So you have to think of it in that respect too. Yeah. And again, every guitar you buy, from Sweetwater to Amazon to casino guitars to to anywhere else, all the, there's all sorts of factors going into it that is the cost of that guitar. Yes. From the electricity to the scripture writing, the time it takes to store it, set it up, those things. That, so those are the things you have to factor that in when you're taking your used guitar in there as well. It's just something to think about every once in a while. I forget that too. Like I, Susie. I paid a thousand dollars for this guitar. Why are you offering me five hundred dollars right now? I'm like, <gasps> oh, yeah, because you want to still build in that hundred and fifty dollar profit by the end of everybody's labors. <laughs> you know? Hopefully, you know, maybe, here's hoping. Maybe like that. That um, might be what happens there. You know, we'll see. You, I mean, honestly, peek behind the curtain. You would not believe. I mean, sometimes we do great on you stuff, but there are times where we have a used piece and it sits and it sits and it sits, and then at the end we're just like. Get rid of, I mean, we've I agree the world. We've definitely lost money on them before. You know, what I mean, was, by the time you factor in the time and it hung there, and the capital tied up. But anyways, no. Um, so it's um, it, it's a funny time in the world. With again, watch the new price going up. I'm I'm praying to the gods above. I think falsely too that we're not going to have some substantial price increases again this year. But I guess companies need the record profits. Yeah, well, a lot of them are. Do- it's not record profits. It's it's to offset some of the disastrous things that happened from last year too. Like I I know a lot of the manufacturers did really well. A lot of them made some goof ups with some of the partners in the reselling markets they had. We've talked about that. And they're just trying to recover it so they can keep their boards and keep the CEOs that are in place. I mean, I guess I like you know these people. It's hard when you're a company and you're seeing all that the dollar signs to then pull it back and say, hey, well, <laughs> where's the future headed? I mean, you know, like, well, it's you hard. did sell all these guitars. But actually, we <laughs> lost you know twenty million dollars last year instead. Like, yeah. wait, what do you mean lost twenty million dollars? You have record profits. Well, this happened and this happened and too close to the sun. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little too close. It's down. He's on fire. Nuts in the wings. So, so just be aware of that when you're going and when you're selling your stuff. Like, it, it, it's not it's not what it was. It's not what it was a year ago or a year and a half ago by any stretch. So, um, vintage market is starting to soften a bit too, which is good. You might be able to get in there and get some deals. I think that might be it. Could be you it. got that? Yeah, I think so. And back to her again. Thank you again for our fancy trusty monocles. This one is amazing. I'm going to wear this swimming soon. I wish I could hold it in my... Can't do it, though. I know. My wife actually got it in there. Is she? Yeah, she, she took care of it. No jokes needed. I'm <laughs> 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 probably stalled. There you go. Thanks again. Click like, subscribe. Hit the old bell. And monocles for everyone. Monocles away. <laughs>